So the first thing we're going to do is install our CPU and our socket is behind this black protective bit of plastic. So we're going to need to open our socket cover and to do that we're going to push this lever down and out. We can bring it all the way to the top of the motherboard and then we can open the socket cover up. So this is our LGA1851 socket and if we look in the socket you'll notice we've got lots of little pins. Now what's really important is when we're installing our CPU that we don't damage these pins. Because if we actually bend these pins out of shape it could be the end of our motherboard. The other thing to point out if we look carefully at the socket there's a little notch here and a little notch here. And they're going to line up with notches in our CPU so we're only going to be able to install the CPU in the socket the correct way up. So this is our Core Ultra 9285K and you notice if we look at the top and the bottom there's a little notch in the CPU which is going to line up with the notches in the socket. You'll notice the text is the correct way up and that is the way we're going to want to install it into the socket. The other thing is you'll notice I'm holding the CPU by the sides and that is because I don't want to contaminate the gold contacts at the bottom. So I do find the easiest way to orientate the latest generation of CPUs in the socket is just to have the text up the correct way round. But if you look at the bottom left hand side of the CPU you'll notice there's a little triangle on it. And if I close the socket again temporarily you'll notice we've got a little triangle on the bottom left hand side of the socket. So the two triangles are going to line up or as like I say the easiest thing is just install the CPU with the text the correct way up. So all we're going to want to do is hold the CPU by the edges the text the correct way up and lower it down gently into the socket. If it doesn't fall into straight away we're going to move it back and forth and side to side. Once we have it in the socket the notches here are going to line up with the notches in the CPU. To make sure it's properly installed just a little wiggle from side to side and up and down and if there's no movement in it it's correctly installed in the socket. Then what we're going to want to do is close the socket cover down and then we're going to close this lever to secure the cover. Now I'm, I'm going to warn you about this because if this is your first build this will alarm you. This black bit of plastic is going to pop off. It can pop off quite dramatically going all the way up in the air or it may just pop off but it is going to make a noise as you close the socket cover down. So we just close the lever and that's our CPU installed in the socket. So this little cover here you're going to want to put that into your motherboard box because if you ever take the CPU out of the socket the pins are going to be at risk of getting damaged so you're going to have to put this plastic cover back on again.